Welcome to the Brand Guide Notion template. This I have duplicated to my account. This will work with free or paid versions of Notion. So don't feel like you have to make any upgrades unless you are using massive image sizes for anything in the assets database, which we'll get to. So first off, this is the space you want to spend some time and gathering all the details and putting into one place. Who are you? Who is your company? What is your company? What do you do? Why do you do it? Who do you do it for? Uh, the core values of your company, the signature offer that you have, the taglines that sell that signature offer, your brand voice. What is your style and your tone? What are the vocabulary uh, words that you use? Is there specific uh, words to the work that you do that need to be put here and explained further out in further detail so that somebody can go, oh, that's what that means, which is also great to include in other assets in your marketing. And also include your editorial guidelines. Do you use EM dashes? Do you use the Oxford comma? Put it in here so that somebody doesn't have to keep asking you, especially if you are handing brand things off to a virtual assistant. And then come in here and start taking all the post-it notes at the bottom of your monitor <laughs> that have all the hex codes for your brand and put them here. You can add in uh, the database here, a hex code, which is the hashtag or pound sign or octothorpe, uh, followed by six, a combination of six letters and numbers to create a color. And if you would like these colors to appear in this fashion, you can go to the solid color image generator up here, download the PNG or the JPEG, come back to the notion. And you can include it as the icon as well as upload it as a file. And that file will show up here so that you can see the colors lovely here. And when you need that, you can just come in here, copy it, take it to ConvertKit, take it to Podia, whatever you need it for, and paste it in. No more going, what was that again? Or choosing a random color that feels close to your brand color. Same thing with fonts. Oop. If you have specific fonts that you use for your brand and they are in this case, uh, a Google font, link to that Google font and describe how you use it. You can do that here on each individual font page or over here on the left and just detail how things are used. Uh, same thing with your logos. If you have variations of your logo, put them in here and describe in detail what each one is used for and when and where and in what instance. And then down here is the my favorite part of this is the assets. If you have a lot of photographs that you have downloaded from someplace like Pexels or Unsplash, put them here for easy reference. So you don't have to keep logging into Unsplash and going, which one is that? Oh, it's this one. Okay. You can come to your assets and go, this is the photograph I use and you can leave details. This is the pages uh, on my website that I like to use this. This is the Canva file or template that actually uses this and list out everything so it's all in one place. There are different categories here, photographs, images, files, templates, audio, pattern illustration. Add and remove what you use and play around with the table views so that it looks the way you would like. And then of course your website. Everybody forgets the website. <laughs> Take screenshots of your website and put it here so that you can see, especially as you make changes, the evolution of your website and you can go back and reference, oh, this is when it was doing this, this is what sales were doing, this is what the page looked like, maybe we need to go back to that. Or, oh, this is when we made a bad change and revenue dropped suddenly, let's compare the two and see what's there. Just drop the screenshots in here and see how the your homepage, start with your homepage and see that evolution of what it looks like here. Again, this is very basic. This is just to get you started and get you from random post-it notes or random color selection or random font selection as you're coming to something and you have to make decisions, eliminating that decision fatigue and putting them all in one place. If you have any questions, I'm available for one-on-one -on -one support through witching hours, or you are welcome to join the fiery well at whatever tier best supports you. If you have specific questions for this template, you are welcome to join our Discord server and ask your questions in the shop, and I am more than happy to troubleshoot any issues with the template itself. Again, thank you for your purchase, and I hope to see you inside the well.